Hi everybody, Bill Lovelace here with Long Beach Local News. I am here on the corner of Cerritos and Willow at 10 Mile Brewing. I had to come here because yesterday I was shopping at the farmer's market with my girlfriend in Bixby Knowles, and that's at 46th in Atlantic, if my memory serves me, getting some vegetables, and lo and behold, I smelled something awesome. I turn around and see this handsome guy that's a cowboy, and he's Cambodian. He's known, affectionately known as the Cambodian cowboy. His name is Chad, and uh, welcome to Long Beach Local News. Oh, thank you, Bill. Hello, Long Beach Local News. I'm Chad Pung, the Cambodian cowboy of Long Beach. He has a great story we're gonna talk about. Uh, he came to America and he's eight years old, and you moved to what city? I moved uh, to Hereford. It's about 60 miles of Amarillo in the Panhandle of Texas back in the mid-90s after high school. And after high school. You came here first to Long Beach? Yes. I came here when I was eight years old, 1980. I live on 9th and California Avenue. Before it was Martin Luther King Avenue. So I have a lot of history here in Long Beach. It looks like he's 20 and he's going way back. Did you tell me you went one year at Poly? Yeah, I went one year at Poly, then I went to King Drew Medical Magnet uh, upstream South Central during the early 90s. After high school, you moved to Texas? Yes, I moved to Texas uh, with my step. They had a contractor to work at the local hospital in Hereford, so I tagged along with him, you know, being that I'm from, you know, Southern Cal, I never, you know, left Southern Cal. So it was a great opportunity to go there. And the highest paying job there was working at the beef packaging plant in Fiona, which is, on, you know, it's called Excel, which is owned by Cargill. And how old were you then? I was like in my early 20s. I wasn't that, you know, that, that old, but not that young. <laughs> so while you worked there, you started playing around with barbecue, correct? Yes, I started playing around with barbecue. There was really nothing to do on the weekends. It was just smoking barbecue with my friends, drink beer, just, you know, throwing parties in the cornfields at his, at his farm. You know, everybody had a farm, so I was like, you know, a special invite. <laughs> right on. So how long did you stay there? I stayed there for about five years and just, you know, getting to know. I still have a lot of family and friends there that I keep in touch. So it's a pretty great experience. So you had all this experience, five-year experience uh, barbecuing, came back to Long Beach. And what year did you start this? Well, I started this uh, three and a half years ago. It was uh, right uh, after COVID when I got laid off uh, from my job, like most people here locally and around the nation, you know, losing their job and just finding something that, that we're passionate that we would love to do because it was, lo it was a lockdown. Yeah, so yesterday at the farmer's market, what, you're there every Thursday pretty much? Yeah, pretty much every Thursday from 3 to 7. So that's uh, when we're there at Bixby Nose Farmer's Market. And let's, I want to tell them other places. You're here at 10 Mile every Friday pretty much? Yeah, I'm here at, uh, at um, 10 Mile every Friday from 12 to 7. And then Sunday at Trademark uh, from uh, 12 to 7. Where's Trademark? Trademark is on Anaheim and Long Beach Boulevard. It's behind, uh, you know, that um, check cashing place across from the metro station behind Yoshinoya right there. So those are the only three places that you're at during the week yes that is correct and you don't have a restaurant you you come out do you do private parties yeah i do a lot of private parties and catering and stuff so but i'm working on my brick and mortar so it's a lot of work that, that still needs to be done okay enough talk about all that because what i i'm smelling it again folks and right behind us here yeah. is the smoker yeah so uh, come on long beach uh, local news uh, fans come follow me come on bill Okay, how's that? Did I fix the connection? All right, we are here in front of the smoker. And I tell you, once again, I wish we had smell of vision And yesterday when I met Chad, first thing he did, he goes, Sir, would you like to try some pork belly? And I've had pork belly before, and it was like, ugh. But uh, let's reenact that, because I'm a little hungry. Yeah, come on, guys. I got us. Show me some pork belly. Here. So what we do that's different, uh, we, we cube it really small, so it gets an even seasoning and an even smoke. So that's what makes uh, this product so unique and so different and so Long Beach, right? And then we have this amazing uh, uh, beef sausage. It's called Twaco. Oh, yeah. So it's I remember that. And uh, beef. We got garlic in there. We got a uh, galanga. And then we put some jasmine rice to give that uh, good uh, age and fermentation going so it has a little subtle sourness. So this is the Cambodian sausage called Twako. And you want to come closer? Look at that. Look at all that uh, jasmine rice that's in there, the smoke ring. It's phenomenal. I even have these uh, baby back ribs. 
That's what hooked me. I ended up buying a full rack at the farmer's market. And, I mean, let's get a get a tight shot of inside that. Oh, my gosh. I'll back up. Of course, and then we have our number one seller, which is our 17-hour smoked brisket. So let me show you. I'm wrapping this nice butcher paper. Sweat it out so it doesn't dry out. Let me take it out. That's one of the uh, little secrets is you... Yeah. You put it in that butcher paper and it... Yeah, it's a meat hugger, so it keeps it nice. It's a what? Hug. It's a meat hugger. <laughs> so you oh, can... You got to get in the rain. You got to get in the rain. Look at this. Look at the... Oh, look at the juice. Look at the bark on that. So you got to put this aside right here. Yeah. Okay. Let's get a tight shot of him open this up because watch what happens. This is where the magic is. Yeah, right there. Oh. Look at that. God, that juice coming out. 17 hours. How many hours has this been smoking? 17 hours and more. So uh, we have the point right here. The point is uh, more the, the tender side of it. And then the flat is more like the muscle. So this is a good uh, uh, ratio of fat to meat. And super moist. So that's why a lot of people like the point of the brisket. I'm going to cut you up a couple pieces, Bill, to show you. Get this beautiful piece right here. Look at this. He's opening up the brisket. Yes. This is a 17-hour smoked brisket. As you can see, you can see the bark there. I just use a Texas style. So Texas style smoked barbecue, we just use a salt and a black pepper. We let the wood and the fireworks its magic to give us a great product. So right here is the point of the brisket. And here you go, Bill. Give this a try. Okay. Oh, oh, this is amazing. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, hang on a sec. We're going to get some towels. Chad also has portable showers next to us so we can, you can wash yourself off. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, no problem. One thing that impressed me is, in fact, I'm going to use my fingers on this too. This is what called the sausage? Or the yeah, steak? the Cambodian uh, sausage called Twaco. And that's what we're famous for nationally uh, on CBS Morning News. Is there rosemary in this? No. No rosemary? No, no rosemary. Just Galanga roots. So Galanga roots is more like a ginger, a horseradish family. And Southeast Asia is using a lot of different, oh. uh, different, uh, different uh, cooking. And then we put a uh, uh, jasmine rice in there to age it, give that little ser uh, fermentation, give you that subtle sourness. And it and it's works really uh, really great when you smoke it. Okay, so we had yesterday we had this this and then you had a little tri tip too. But you still yes. have that right now, or is that? Oh yeah, absolutely. So you got to get here early at Ten Mile, because he'll sell out. He'll sell out. They have great beer here too. There you go, sir. That's our smoke tri. -tip. Look at the tri tip. Yeah. Let's get yeah. that in the sun so you can. Can you get that, Ryan? Yeah. Look at that. Oh. Okay. Cheers. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cheers. Oh my goodness. Oh, this was, I mean, we were tossed up. We were tossing. Wait a sec. You okay to open up a meat, open up a chicken? Mm -hmm. I am, it was tossed up between getting this whole chicken or getting the ribs. Because this chicken, there's one more meat that I want to show you. And that's his chicken. He he gave me a sample of the chicken yesterday, and this. How many hours does this cook? Oh, it only takes like four hours. These are what I call soft meats. So soft meats takes like four to five hours at most, just to smoke like the chicken, the pork belly, the baby back ribs, the tri tip. You don't want to over smoke it because. Well, I tell you, go ahead and crack that open. Let's get Ryan in here close. I tell you, yesterday he opened it up, and as, as it's doing now, the juice was just flowing out. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Okay, I'll take a sample. All the wonderful meats, and you can top it off with your homemade barbecue sauce. Yes. 
It's about the bomb barbecue sauce. There's a little bit of a Western barbecue sauce and a little bit of a Cambodian sauces in it. So I can't tell all the ingredients, but it has a little bit of soy, a little bit. You could taste uh, some of the uh, sesame seed oil, but that's it. That's all I'm going to give you. <laughs> it's all you need because you, you have to try the barbecue sauce. It's awesome. But one thing we didn't touch on is the Cambodian, more Cambodian side of it. And you have noodles and some other Cambodian staples that you've actually put your own twist to, right? Yes, yes, that's correct. I, have, I make this a rice noodle dish. It's called kateo. So we smoke uh, the bones, and then after we smoke it, we, we brew it for like 24 hours, and becomes this great, amazing uh, beef broth. And we pair it with our rice noodles, and we garnish it with the, uh, you know, cilantro, green onions, uh, fried garlic, and then we add uh, slices of our 17-hour smoked brisket, and it's to die for. All right, I want to touch on the main, main thing, and that's how we can get a hold of you. Okay, um, let you everyone know out there in Long Beach and, and the world that. Uh, Chad's available for private parties, weddings, yes. and all sorts of events. He'll bring this out, set this up, supply everything, plates, everything, right? Yes, correct. I'll supply everything. So the, the way to, to get a hold of me, uh, I'm at uh, different places about f usually four uh, four days out of the week. So Thursday I started where I found, or Bill found me <laughs> at Bixby Nose Farmer's Market from 3 to 7 p.m. every Thursday. Then I'm here at uh, 10 Mile Brewing from uh, 12 to 8 or until I sell out uh, on Fridays. And then Saturday, once in uh, every other Saturday, I go to uh, Three Weaver in Inglewood. That's all the way, you know, near near West LA. Then I come back here over at Trademark Brewing, which is on uh, Anaheim Street and Long Beach Boulevard from 12 or until we sell out. So that's, that's you know, where you find me. And the easiest way to, to know my schedule is to follow me on Facebook or Instagram at Batabong Barbecue. Can you spell Batabong? Yeah, it's just like you know the way you pronounce Billabong, the surfing brand. So it's Batambong. It's B A W T A M B O N G B B Q, and that's how you you know. That's how and we'll put some links uh, below yeah. the Instagram, Facebook, Absolutely. our website, and YouTube also, so uh, people can get a hold of you. And if you you know it's great if you're having a party, you want to taste it first. You come to one of those spots. And uh, Chad will hook you up. Yeah, you just come on down and I'll take care of all y'all. Chad, I want to thank you so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure. And I want everyone to know that you've agreed. If you mention Long Beach Local News at any of the venues we talked about and you come up and say hi to Chad, he's going to give you 5% off. That's right, 5%. Not 2, not 3, not 4, but... 5% off. Just mention Long Beach Local News and I'll take care of you guys. Thanks again for joining us. Take care.